Now, time to go stateside, sort of. American TV is busy promoting their big primetime TV show, Siberia, and it stars one of our very own. Omar Skirvin, like many others seeking fame and fortune in Hollywood, had numerous audition knockbacks. He was just about to give up the entertainment dream, but his mum wasn't having any of it. Yes, thanks to one last casting session, he's now about to become a household name. A quick mention that uh, Russell Hooker's report contains some flashing images. They've already put out like a preview and it's been getting uh, really good reviews from like viewers and stuff. So. Talking to her son in L.A., Shirley Skirvin from Peterborough is still coming to terms with the idea that he could be about to become a household name. 28-year-old Omar Skirvin, who now uses his middle name Nico, grew up in Breton and always dreamed of becoming an actor. He beat hundreds of hopefuls at an audition and ended up on the books of a U.S. casting agency. Now he's one of the stars of a new primetime drama. And by luck, an audition came up and the, what it says down, they want a black British rugby player because he's very, you know, butch. And he went up for that and that was it. And he got the part in Siberia. What is that? Siberia follows a group of fictional reality TV show contestants trying to survive in the Siberian wilderness when something goes wrong. It's tipped to become a big hit in the States, and it's the big break Omar has been waiting for. You go to auditions and they tell you no, time and time after, you know, again and again. So it breaks you, it breaks your spirit. So for me to like look back now and, and look at all the neg negative things that happen, you know, it makes me feel even more like um, proud of, you know, to achieve, to achieve, achieve this and just get this far, you know. His mum says she always knew he'd be a star, so much so that she took a big gamble to get him to the States. It was a price to pay getting to LA. And he says, mum, one, two thousand, Five hundred. He said, Mom, what are we going to do? I said, don't worry. Where is this a will? There's a way. And, and went to the bank and I got the loan for him. Luckily, she had more confidence than her son. He'd apparently said if his Hollywood dream hadn't happened, he'd have returned home by the end of the year. As the late, the late Desmond Decker song goes, you can get it if you really, really want it, but you got to go out there and try. And you try and you just succeed. And what he said, yes, he can say, I've succeeded at last. And that's what my son did. Russell Hookey, ITV News, Peterborough. Which goes to show mum is always right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mums are always right. And dads too. <laughs> now.